Hey guys, this is Caesar, and it's Saturday, June 11th, and I'm out here at the East End Block Party right in front of Yoast in downtown Santa Ana. We're going to be out here talking to some people, watching some live music. It's going to be really fun, so hell yeah. Kid Nobu, how you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, chilling, chilling. Yeah, yeah. And I see you were staff, so that means you were involved with the East End par Block Party. So tell us a little bit about what you did for I love cheeseburger! Oh shit, yeah. Tyson over here. <laughs> so, yeah, so tell us a little bit about what your involvement with the festival is. Uh, I was just, for the most part, I was just recording some of the behind the scenes stuff, taking some pictures, video, you know? Who are some of the people you're looking forward to seeing today? Uh, Gucci Mar for sure. Sammy Love. Um, I think the web, they're about to go up too right now. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of dope people. Even the DJs, yeah, those are pretty dope. Uh, it's just the vibe here. Uh, yeah, well, I'm excited to see all your hard work pay off and uh, it's just a great day today, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Manny from Fight for the Mic. What's up, bro? What's up, boss? How you guys doing, man? Hey, great, man. How are you enjoying the East End Blog Party so far? Man, it's fun, man. This is like our first event that we actually come out to for the podcast to like promote, interview people, see what brought everybody else to the city. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's all love, man. It's good to see everybody come together for sure, especially after like the pandemic and stuff. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this one got delayed, too. It was supposed to happen last year, but now two years later, they're finally making it happen. So we're excited to be here. Yeah. Uh, who are some of the people you're looking forward to seeing today? Oh, man. Sammy Love and Gucci Mar. Caution. That's going to be hard. Uh, I know Eric Young's going to be performing with Gucci Mar. Uh, Daniel James is on the ones and twos right, right now. Yeah, uh, and then later on, you got, you got the West Coast Legends, Second to None, and RBL Posse. So it's, it's fun, man. It's going to be a great night of music. The homie YBG, how you doing, man? Yeah, doing good, bro. I'm happy to be here, bro. Let's hey, go. Nice, yeah, we're out. It's a really nice day out. G, what are you up to, man? What, is there anything you want to plug right now? Uh, yeah, man. Um, summer kickoff coming up June 25th for True 100 at Continental Room. Go check it out. We're doing pre-sale tickets, OC Fair giveaway, tickets, all that. <laughs> Priscilla, who is one of the organizers of the East End Block Party, tell us a little bit about your involvement with it. So this is my first time working with the Block Party and it actually came to fruition. I was part of the team right before COVID. Yeah. So now this is my first Block Party being a part of the team and it's been really fun. But I've just been involved with like social media and branding and just making sure that everything looks good in terms of the marketing and stuff. And yeah, well, we're here now and it's getting lit. Yeah. Well, I gotta do. I do have to say that the branding is really good. Everything Thank you. does look really dope. Uh, how long have you been working on this? This feels like a while, no? Yeah. So obviously, pre-pandemic, we had plans. So like some of them rolled over, but I think probably up until December, this last December, we've been planning and getting all like the pieces put together. So That's yeah. Dope. That's dope. Uh, and yeah, so one of the things that I noticed was how like so many different genres were incorporated into the festival. How did the process of choosing who was going to be on stage? How was that? So it's pretty much like, I think Santa Ana and Orange County is a melting pot within itself. So it's really important to just be able to showcase different kinds of genres like you do on your show. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's been really cool. We have a great lineup for tonight. We also have different venues that we're utilizing within the space as well. La Santa has bands going on all day. The Calle Cuatro has more bands um, within different genres, which is good because we're also taking into consideration the businesses because yeah. Obviously with the streetcar, there's a lot of like construction. and like construction going on. It's been hard to bring people out. So yeah. this is an opportunity for like all day people just come out, support, listen to all kinds of different music. That's great. And have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I've been really excited just by the first couple acts. Like these are people that I wasn't too familiar with, but now yeah. I'm like taking mental notes of being like maybe we can book them for Cool Lab or have them on your show and stuff because yeah. That's the beauty about having like a bunch of different minds coming together to build a lineup because like I have my, my arsenal of artists that I know but other people have theirs and coming together we're really diff we're able to see like a bunch of different tastes yeah. and stuff. So. Yeah, that's, it's really yeah. great and uh, well I'm excited for you to see all your work come to fruition today thank you. and uh, thank you for everything you've of done. Course.
stage one, the wise. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up? What up? What up, brother? Hey, are you ready for your Europe tour? You're about to leave, right? I am in about uh, ten days, actually. Oh shit, ten more days. Are you? How many stops are you hitting? Like I think we're at about like uh, seven to ten. We still got a couple pending. I think we might hit uh, Barcelona, Spain, things like that after we end in France. Oh damn, well, we're excited and yeah, yeah. We talked a lot about it on the YouTube interview we just did. You can check that out on our YouTube. It was great. It was shot at FTG. You, you enjoyed that, right? I did, yeah. If you haven't seen that yet, please. It's the most in-depth uh, description about what I'm doing right now and what's going on right now with For The Fans and the European Tour, the album that I could give anybody. And I gave it exclusively to the Rodriguez Show. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Follow him on Instagram at Sage One The Wise. Thank you, bro. Good luck in Europe. Hey, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Peace, yeah, peace. Yeah. We're here with Sammy Love and she just performed at East End Blog Party. How you feeling? I'm feeling so good, Caesar. Yeah. Ah! Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you just performed a new version of Caution and you told me that that was the first time you guys performed it together? Yes, it was the first time we performed it together. We didn't get to practice together. So that's how you know it's coming from the heart. So that's shout fire. To, shout out to Gucci Mar for holding it down. We did our thing and thank you to Matisse and Chris and Marlene. They were amazing musicians. That's so awesome. And you just dropped that video too, right, for Caution? Yes, I just, yeah, we dropped that video. So go check it out. It's on YouTube. It's on my Instagram. That's dope. That's dope. So what are you looking forward to doing the rest of the year? You've already done so many great things. Thank you so much, Ezer. Of course, you know, my favorite thing was, one of my favorite things was going to you guys' interviews, but also I look forward to doing more events. I got some couple big events as well. Just got booked for some. And yeah, I'll be sharing more information with you guys. So just doing events and having a good time. Oh, and putting out more music. Hey, nice, yeah. nice. We can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much. It was great Thank to see you. Guys. you. Shout out to the Rodriguez Show. You guys hold it down for the city and put on lots of artists. So we thank you. We love you. Thank you, Sammy thank you, Love. Caesar. Thank you. We are here with Oscar Osorio from Tropicasa. How you feeling, bro? I'm good. I'm excited. This is the first time Tropicasa is happening at the Fourth Street Market. How do you like it so far? I love it. I love the spot. I love the space. I hope everybody loves it, you know. Um, I already saw the main stage. It's yeah. popping. Yeah. Can't wait to get people out here. Oh, yeah. We'll tell people to come <laughs> through here. Uh, so what can they expect today when they're out here? What kind of vibes? It's definitely going to be more house, disco type vibes. We're going to keep it mellow, keep it chill, see how the day goes. Yeah. Just about vibing, you know. That's cool, that's cool. Who are you looking forward to see that's on your lineup? Everybody. Yeah. Everyone's always fun to watch. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, we are here with Mia Zoe at the East End Block Party. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are yeah. you? Great, great. How have you been enjoying the live music so far? Um, I've been loving it. Um, I'm really excited because the last time that I came to the East End Block Party, it was in 2019. And um, I feel like now, like, we've kind of grown up. And I don't know, I've just, I'm more kind of uh, involved with the community and stuff like that. And so it's just good to connect with other people who do music and just kind of network and stuff like that. So, yeah, I love it. I saw you've been working on stuff. When can we expect to hear some new music? Um, I'm hoping that I release this project before September. I don't have, like, a set date yet, but eventually... I'm hoping to release it before September. Um, I'm working on a few songs that really mean a lot to me, so I'm kind of perfecting them and just wanting to have a specific sound with them. So yeah, that's why I'm taking my time with it. But yeah. oh, it's like summer vibes, you think? Is that why it's before September? Um, no, I feel like it's more like heartfelt R&B vibes. So I'm kind of aiming for September because I don't know, I feel like in August, it's kind of like a form of like rebirth. And I just feel like, the project that I'm working on really showcases me as an artist, like kind of transforming and growing into who I want to be. So, yeah.
Die, die alone. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, good, good. You got here around a couple hours ago, just like we did. How you been enjoying yeah. this uh, this thing so far? I've been chilling. I've been watching the acts. It's been sick. I've been seeing a lot of dope people. Um, Gucci Mar, Sammy Love. Um, fuck, there was this one band. Attica. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They were sick. Yeah, I, I saw them at the Cool Lab a couple weeks ago. They're pretty tight. Yeah, I just love their vibe. The whole shit was cool. All right, man. Well, I want to give quick plug. Are you working on anything? You want to, you know, give sneak peek on the, of the future? Um, I'm working on, you know, little shit, little projects here and there. Something called Good Luck with That, and um, doing a lot more collabs. I just up my studio shit, so it's about to get crazy. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to hear everything that you got. You're always, you always have a unique. But, you know, control of everything, man. It's pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? We are here with Jamal from True 100 Radio. What's up, man? How you feeling? Doing good, man. How you doing, bro? I'm good. How, are you having a good time today at the East End Block Party? Hell yeah, man. It's been a long day, but it's been a good one. You know, getting to see everybody. We see everybody perform. It's been a good atmosphere. Real dope day. A beautiful day in Santa Ana. So, you know, can't yeah. play. It is. It's been a great day, man, and uh, we're out here burning in the sun. Well, right now we're in shade, but it was, it was a hot ass day. Uh, so I just want to, before we get to anything else, the podcast tour is happening. Give us a little bit of details on that. So True 100 Radio, first time ever, got the live podcast tour. We're going throughout all of Orange County. Uh, starts June 25th, Continental Room, downtown Fullerton. Uh, we'll be hosting. We got Ray B, Pretty Papes, Kid Vista, uh, the Mega Towers coming from the IE tear the stage up that's just the first show the summer kickoff we have four more shows after that it's all leading up to our second anniversary uh true fest which uh you know got a lot of things in store uh we got a lot of artists a lot of other you know personalities and other podcasts that we're linking up with coming through it's gonna be a fun time this summer yeah, and we might be involved in that just hint 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 yeah, yeah, hint hint wink <laughs> <laughs> if i had my glasses off i'd be winking at the camera right now <laughs> <laughs> and that's it bro we're about to get run over thank you so much jamal for 200 radio bro thank you man thank you man thanks for having me bro. I'm here with Mondo. How you feeling, Mondo? Pretty damn tired, but pretty damn great. Yeah, yeah. man. Who's who's your favorite today at the East End Block Party? Uh, Some of the highlights. Oh uh, shit. Well, of course we stopped by the Tropi Casa fam. That shit was tight as fuck. Yeah, yeah. And then Rocky Angelini with the sauce. That shit was incredible. Yeah. We had Sammy Love, Gucci Mar. That everybody, dude. Everybody was my fucking favorite. Uh, yeah, it was a really good time. Uh, so that's it for us tonight, man. And remember to listen to the show every Friday. Watch it on YouTube. That's right. And listen to Mondo's Mix, which is now on YouTube, too. That's tight, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's hope they don't take it down. No, they, they won't. They won't. All right. All right, guys. That's it for us at the East End Block Party. What do you have anything to say to them? Shit. Keep it funky. Keep it fresh. Keep it sexy. We out. Yeah. <laughs>